we will be using fossil fuels for the next few decades. Coal, petroleum and natural gas are fossil fuels. We are generating energy by burning fossil fuels, but in addition to energy, it releases carbon dioxide to the environment. These are major sources of carbon dioxide emission. Annually generated carbon dioxide in US is enough to fill the Grand Canyon. Carbon dioxide is a greenhouse gas and excess carbon dioxide directly result in increasing the Earth's temperature. Greenhouse effect results in melting polar ice and reduction of the ozone layer. Excess carbon dioxide in atmosphere can cause extreme weather, spread of diseases, acid rain, and affect agriculture. Converting carbon dioxide into viable chemicals and fuels using solar energy is our solution to reduce excess carbon dioxide. In near future, we will run out of fossil fuels. Our solution will also help save fossil fuel reserves. Zinc oxide is a good catalyst for carbon dioxide conversion at higher temperatures. Therefore, we have to increase the temperature of zinc oxide. We are introducing nanoheaters to increase the temperature of zinc oxide. Nanoheaters are tiny particles that cannot be seen by naked eye. Our nanoheaters are gold nanoparticles. Surface electrons of the gold nanoparticles dance together at one frequency. We can call that dancing frequency as the surface plasmon resonance frequency of gold nanoparticles. Dancing frequency of our nanoheaters is as same as the frequency of green light. Therefore, our nanoheaters can absorb only green light. Our catalyst is zinc oxide with nanoheaters. After the green light absorption, gold nanoparticles generate highly localized heat in the vicinity of few nanometers. Inside the laboratory, we synthesized gold zinc oxide photocatalysts using few chemicals and a simple method. We tested carbon dioxide conversion inside the lab using a green laser and we detected methane as a product. When we increase the laser intensity, local temperature of zinc oxide will be increased. Increasing local temperature of zinc oxide causes carbon dioxide conversion rate to increase. This is the successful story of our nanoheaters.